Are we ready for Category 6 hurricanes? A chilling question, isn't it? But it's one that's becoming increasingly relevant as our climate changes. While the Saffir-Simpson scale, which categorizes hurricanes based on wind speed, currently only goes up to Category 5, there's a growing conversation around the need for a Category 6, and for good reason. In the past nine years alone, we've had five storms that would fit this new classification, with wind speeds exceeding a staggering 192 miles per hour. These aren't just numbers on a page or abstract concepts, they translate into real-world devastation, destroying homes and claiming lives. Florida International University is stepping up to this challenge, designing and building structures that can withstand these extreme winds. They're even planning to construct a new hurricane lab, capable of simulating 200 mile per hour winds and 20 foot storm surges. But the issue isn't just about wind speed. Hurricanes bring multiple impacts, including storm surges, rainfall, tornadoes, and other cascading effects. In fact, storm surges and flooding are responsible for the majority of hurricane deaths. That's why some scientists argue that the Saffir Simpson scale should expand to include these factors, painting a more comprehensive picture of a hurricane's potential impact. The link between climate change and the increasing intensity of tropical cyclones is becoming clearer. Warmer temperatures make hurricanes slower, rainier, and more likely to rapidly intensify. The remnants of Hurricane Ida, for instance, caught New York City off guard with record-breaking rainfall of over 7 inches, leading to devastating floods. It's a stark reminder that we need to be better prepared for these extreme weather events. This means not just building hurricane-proof homes, but also improving our communication systems to warn about imminent weather events and focusing on immediate crisis management and preparedness. The challenge lies in translating the science into practical home improvements. Many coastal residents are unlikely to think their homes will be destroyed by a storm, but implementing better upgrades can help save lives and livelihoods in hurricane-prone areas. As we navigate this changing climate, we must adapt to this new generation of hurricanes. We need to build more resilient communities and systems, capable of withstanding the worst that Mother Nature can throw at us. In summary, the question of whether we're ready for Category 6 hurricanes is not just about preparing for stronger winds. It's about understanding the multifaceted impacts of these storms, adapting our infrastructure and systems accordingly, and building a more resilient future in the face of climate change.